Hello everyone, I'm here in broad daylight in this miserable foggy weather, November weather in Hungary. I am not hunting, I'm just doing a test for you uh, to show you what the thermal sensor can do and also to show you the difference between a sub 20 millikelvin sensor and the sub 15 millikelvin sensor. Of course I'm talking about the Habrock HQ35L. Uh, this is a Q sensor and the new Stellar 3.0 Thermal Rifle Scope, the SQ50L. Well, this also has a Q sensor, but the NETD value is much more uh, smaller compared to the Habrock that it's visible. Now, to show you that I'm not cheating, I will start the recording on the HQ35 Habrock and we'll switch to the digi digital channel as well. So you can see that it's really happening and I will keep that recording going and then I will start the recording with this one and then you can see yourself that I'm really talking about real life conditions over a distance which is approximately 400-500 meters. I will try to measure it with the laser rangefinder but uh, you know laser rangefinders are not always accurate in foggy weather and not always working in foggy weather but I will give it a try. So started the Habrock recording now. You can see Hungarian uh, grey cattle herd enjoying uh, the November grass on the hillside. They are not visible with your your eye. You can see that, that it's... Uh, well, some of them are in between the trees, but uh, the mo rest of them is simply not visible. Yeah. You can see how well the Image Pro 2.0 is working, gives you proper shape of an uh, animal quite far away, of course. Above a certain magnification it just makes no sense to magnify it anymore. Now, to give the LRF a try. Now, it's, it's not working in foggy weather, but I'm not expecting it to work, to be honest. Let's get to the Stellar. Yeah, I will try to yeah, place it like this and the recording starts now, yes. You should be seeing exactly So you can see exactly the two, well, not exactly because it's a different different uh, field of view but you will see I'll try to set it yes so roughly roughly you see exactly the same now you see how much more detail the sub 15 millikelvin gives you and I'm also going through the magnification Yes, Image Pro is working perfectly. Yeah, again, it's just no point magnifying this uh, above a certain uh, value. Well, I can go through the color palette. I love the red monochrome. Yeah, so it is what it is. I think this is... Uh, vital to have such gear with you if you want to be a successful at uh, predator control and of course uh, this weather happens during night time as well so especially in winter time so i think uh, this combo is just uh, a key for successful management of wildlife. It can be wild boar in Hungary and uh, foxes, golden jackals and badgers. Uh, uh, so yeah, I think this is a quite nice comprehensive uh, comparison of the two devices, the two sensors. They are pretty great. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Take care.